In the 1950s, America went UFO crazy. Waves of sightings were often followed by waves of hoaxes. Pranksters were busy airbrushing negatives and doing photographic cut and paste jobs. They even tossed saucepans in front of the camera and dangled hubcaps in the air. Obviously, they were just out to get publicity. George Adamski claimed direct contact with blonde-haired aliens who took him to the moon and Venus, where, he said, he took these photographs. Then came the Barker incident at a small airfield in West Virginia where this film footage was shot. This was termed the Lost Creek Flying Saucer. Many people who saw this film believed that the hanging thing you see was in fact a UFO. We'll leave it to you. The 60s and 70s brought various groups of people who actually built saucer-shaped vehicles and attempted to fly them. And about 10 years ago, there began what we believe to be the most elaborate hoax of all. A Swiss farmer, Billy Meyer, claimed to have had direct contact with an extraterrestrial group from the Pleiades star system. Meyer produced photographs of what he called beam ships. And uh, uh, the occupants of these beam ships. Interestingly, one of the aliens looked very much like a Swiss fashion model, and the so-called beam ship was found in his barn. Now, Billy Meyer's beam ships may have been obvious hoax, but thousands of UFO sightings from all over the world are not so easily explained away.